is PayPal holding your money specifically is PayPal holding your money if you own a Shopify store and you're having problems scaling and first of all getting your money uploading tracking information and all of the problems that we as Shopify dropshippers have with PayPal all these different terrible payment gateways how to solve that dreaded PayPal hold today we're gonna talk to one of my students who had 23 thousand dollars stuck on PayPal how he was able to get that money and the techniques that he and I use to get the money back from PayPal and actually build a good relationship with PayPal so you can use them as a long-term payment provider let's go hey there it's Rafael Sintron here like I said we're gonna solve your PayPal problem today before we get into the interview with Ryan to show you the details on how he got his money back and how he got his PayPal account running again and unblocked make sure to click that first link that in the description for a five-day live training directly with me we're gonna start in about three weeks from now five days one hour a day everything that you need to know about e-commerce completely for free go ahead and join it and let's go hey what is up I am Rafael here I'm with my student Ryan who is incredibly successful the past couple of months has been absolutely crushing it and we're gonna talk about a topic that a lot of people ask me specifically during these troubling times during this pandemic times which is PayPal holds you, Ryan, had 23,000 US dollars stuck with PayPal that stopped you from scaling. You were going to do potentially $100,000 in a month. But because you had some money held or holding by PayPal, you couldn't scale. And now you have more money hold. So you need to get it back. So talk a little bit about the experience of getting your PayPal held and how you got your money held. Was it bit by bit? Was it just a bunch at the same time? and how you actually got the money because you got the $23,000 from the account and you were able to, to keep testing. So tell people a little bit about that experience and what they can do. Yeah, so uh, when I started scaling to about one to $2,000 per day, I got a email from PayPal saying that uh, it, they capped the amount that I can withdraw instantly from sales. I think it was capped at around thousand pounds which is five six thousand dollars I'm not sure and so I I was like okay I, I called them up um, and they they just said yeah um, you need you need to we're gonna send you some some in some like information that you need to submit and stuff um, and and I waited like days for that you know, I, I had to call them up every day because I couldn't withdraw money from my account anymore. Um, so I was I was calling them up every day, like you, you haven't sent me any info. And then a few days later, they sent me, um, like um, no, that a few days ago they actually froze my my account, like a few weeks later. I think. And they they were like, yeah, you you can't withdraw any money anymore. You have to you have to submit all these information, like your business information, which I already submitted already um, before I even like started running ads. Um, I, I submitted all my business documents to PayPal and now they're asking for, for it again, which, which I thought was really weird, um, but it's fine. I submitted that and they asked me for like uh, tracking numbers. I think it was six, seven, eight different tracking numbers from different orders over the past four days including orders that were made today at the time and yesterday at the time. So, and also um, they asked for a receipt from, from supplier. Um, and I, yeah, I just submitted all of that. Um, but it was, it, was a, it was a real pain because if I saw this coming, um, I would have just, if, you know, before I scale to 1K, 2K per day, I would have just called them up and be like, well, I'm about to scale and I'm, I'm going to have a lot of revenue, very revenue coming in. So um, whatever, you know, it takes for you guys to not hold my funds. Can we just sort that out right now? Um, because the, because of the situation, situation with the COVID, they just took so long. I think my funds were held for almost a month. Wow. Um, they've only started releasing it a week ago. So last week they released almost 10,000 10, pounds, which is like, I don't know, 12,000 USD. End of this week, they should release um, another nine to 10,000 pounds. That's crazy. So, Damn. 
Oh, I, I thought you it wasn't held yet. It wasn't held now. I thought you, you got the money already. That's crazy. No, I'm, I'm still waiting for them to release uh, the, yeah. That's crazy. All the funds that were held in, in, in April, basically. Um, pr pretty much the whole of April, I couldn't withdraw any money from PayPal. Yeah. So first of all, they asked for company information, business information. Then they asked for it again. They froze the account. Then they asked for tracking numbers and that were done today. So obviously you didn't have it and you weren't going to have it for the next week and a half. So, Hey, I hope you're enjoying the interview real quick. If you want to win a list of 10 winning products that I reserve exclusively for my private members, products that you can sell on your Shopify store, make sure to comment down below, automate, subscribe, hit that notification bell, that like button down below, and I'll pick a winner from this video. What was the, cause I remember you, you first called them. They told you uh, we need those tracking numbers. You called again. You said, hey, these tracking numbers are from today. I don't have them. Um, I do have all the other information. I have other tracking numbers I can provide. So one of the reasons why I think you got the money, it's because you, you were in constant conversation. So you constantly kept calling them and calling them and calling them. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They, they just get angry and they don't call or build a relationship. So you, you pretty much, you treated them as, as you were talking to just a regular person not a company, right? Yeah, that was basically my morning routine for like three <laughs> weeks every day. Of, you know, I would just wake up and call PayPal. Um, just get it out of the way. And just, just yeah, I, to be honest, I don't remember what you're talking about. Um, I just remember me just begging them to hurry up. Um, yeah, in terms of the tracking, I did have to call them up and I, I explained to them the whole situation. And I said, um, you know, I can get these trackings, but they're not going to be in transit. Like I can ask my supplier to generate me a tracking code, but it's, it, it's, it's not going to be posted or shipped yet. Um, and they would, and they said, yeah, they can, they can put that in on the system. And when their back office team reviews it, they, they're going to see it on the system and they're going to see like pretty much a, a history of of my communication with the PayPal staff and stuff. So when they see that, um, it's gonna tell them that, you know, look, I'm, I'm legit, I'm trustworthy, I'm communicating, I'm really transparent. So that really helps. I mean, yeah, that, that's what the, the PayPal people were telling me on the phone. That is good that I'm you know, calling them up every day and updating them on the situation and stuff um I, I was even telling them that yeah we're gonna also update our customers about shipping delays and everything and they really appreciate all that so yeah gotcha okay so that's the so two things that you mainly did was i like that you asked for a tracking code even if it wasn't in transit it wasn't processed already you asked for a supplier tracking code you put that tracking code on there regardless of it was if it was shipped that's a question I get a lot. Like, should I put my tracking numbers, even if they're not even pending yet? That's good that you put that. Second of all, you called them a lot, uh, explained the situation constantly. And that created a log that said, okay, this person is communicative. This person it cares about their account. So uh, when it comes to, let's say, were you trying to upload tracking information even before they asked you for it? Were you using any kinds of apps to connect your store to PayPal, anything like that? before you got the, the funds held or after that you would recommend or you just did it manually? Yeah, so I, um, I use this app called UpTrack. UpTrack. Um, by Pro. So yeah, this, this app saved my life and Johnny's life as well. Because <laughs> uh, we, we both got our funds held. I had it worse, obviously. Um, so this, this app, it just up, uploads trackings to PayPal automatically. So it's really good. Cool. I'll um, put the link down in the description so people can get it's proofway.com. It's called UpTrack. It's an app. Yeah. UpTrack by the company called Proofway. So, yeah. Cool. And okay. So uploaded everything, called them a lot. And now I know you're struggling again with some payment held. What would you recommend somebody that's, for example, running a lot of ads, trying to get traffic to their store, but not getting success at 
getting their money or just having problems with PayPal, what would you recommend would be uh, like one or two things they should do immediately? I, I scaled down. That's the first thing. Um, I had to get two credit cards. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, one credit card had like 15,000 and the other credit card had 10,000. They, they all almost got depleted. But luckily, PayPal's releasing it, so it's fine now. It's just like at the right time. They're releasing my money at the right time, so it's good. But yeah, I would recommend scaling down. Um, get credit cards if you can. And yeah, that, that's what I did, really. Just scale down. Cool. Yeah, and uh, there's another thing also, if you're interested in really like getting your money, uh, there's a, a company or a, an organization called the BBB, Better Business Bureau. And what some people do is that they'll go and go to the BBB. They'll go to the BBB or they'll go to any company that's like a legal claims company. And they'll go and make a legitimate legal claim against PayPal. So what you do is you make a claim, say, hey, I have 5,000, 10,000, in your case, like 23,000 held. This company will not co cooperate. They're sending me to uh, unsupportive staff, things like that. And you can't get your money. Now, the problem with that is be careful because you can get blacklisted. So I like your approach better because with this approach, going really hard, going legal on them, you can just, your name and your everything can be banned from PayPal. So if you create a new PayPal account, it gets banned immediately. You try to connect your PayPal to anything, gets banned. Your location, your IP address, it's just a mess. So I like your approach where you waited a little bit, you had to suffer some days, but you called them consistently. You got the tracking numbers, you got everything. So that's, that's pretty much the way to go for anybody if they want to. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. another thing is... Um... I forgot. Don't tell them that you do drop shipping. <laughs> they did ask me. They did ask me. I oh, do you just drop products. Um, I oh yeah, they did ask me like what kind of products I was selling, and stuff. So, um, I had to tell them that you know uh, I have my own supplier, my own supplier, and I, I'm I'm selling this kind of product like blah blah blah. You know, nice products. You don't want to you don't want to tell them that you're drop shipping from China because they will classify you as a risky business. So gotta be careful with that. That's true. That's true. Don't tell them that you that you're just drop shipping randomly, and especially don't say that you're using AliExpress. That's you shouldn't be using it. But if you are, don't say that you're using it because you yeah, that that's a problem. When you get labeled as a risky business, there's a lot of problems that go with it. All right. I hope that helped you know how to get your payment account back or your PayPal account back. I wouldn't recommend PayPal if you want to scale up past a six-figure level. I do have another video on all the payment providers that I use, the ones that I recommend you to use, and the ones that are best for scaling your account, depending on what country you're from. You can check that video right there. It's a square that's going to be right here. Click that video. Go to the Payment Gateway video. If you want to work directly with me and my team and mentor with me, click that second link down in the description. Like I said, join the free private group with the first link. Subscribe to the notification bell, the like button. And I will see you on the next video.